hello everyone welcome to this video series on neural networks so in this video we are going to basically understand how the idea of neural networks is inspired from uh, human uh, the working of a human brain and we will also talk about what are the similarities between a biological neuron and an artificial neuron right so to understand neural networks or the basic unit of a neural network which is a neuron right which you can see in this figure right so we would be building a network like this which would be able to do various tasks like uh, predicting language language modeling classifying images or lot of stuff right so your google elo elixa amazon all those use nowadays use deep learning which is based upon these neural networks right so let us start with the series and let us first understand how a neural network is related to a biological neuron right so the structure i have drawn here is of a neuron right and this is a biological neuron right so what happens uh, we in brain is we do not know the exact functioning of the brain but it is an attempt to mimic the functioning of the brain right so in brain you have uh, a collection of neurons and each neuron looks something like this and you have dendrites which which basically brings input from other neurons to the current neuron right so let's say each dendrite is bringing some input x1 x2 x3 x4 and so on right and this input goes to the processing unit which is called soma so here the neuron does some processing of the information and in between this there there is a synaptic gap which basically modifies these signals right so these signals are in the form of electrical and chemical impulses so these chemicals basically modify the actual input right so maybe the original input which was coming was x1 but your input that will get into the soma would be some w1 into x1 right some weighted input right and it would be w2 into x2 and it would be w3 into x3 and it would be w4 into x4 so these inputs go inside the processing unit and this soma is going to compute some value and this value is going to be basically sum of all the inputs right so total input let's say this is called z this is going to be summation of wi into x of i right okay so this is going to be the input and we have heard this term that a neuron will fire or not right so neurons some neurons will fire based upon some input and some neurons will not fire right so that firing of a neuron depends upon a function which is called activation function right so we say that when this value is greater than some threshold value we will say the neuron is going to fire right so it is going to fire right so how do we represent that function so we it would be a sum function right so let's say uh, uh, your output right so the output is let's say denoted using a so your output a is going to be g of z right where z is a weighted sum right so it is going to be wi xi and g is some threshold function which which uh, is basically also called an activation function or activity right or activation right so if the z is greater than some threshold we say the neuron is going to fire and otherwise we are going to say neuron will not fire right so in practice g can be a sigmoid function but these days we use one very interesting function which is called relu which is called rectified linear unit and it is denoted as g of z is going to be z if z is greater than 0 and it is going to be 0 which basically means if z is less than 0 so neuron fires in this case if the activation is greater than 0 and neuron does not fire if the activation is less than 0 right and to uh, relate this equation uh, to uh, make this equation uh, slightly more better is we would also add one bias term so that we can set a particular threshold right maybe i want that my neuron should fire when the value is minus 10 right so we will keep the bias as plus 10 
because even if the this value is going to be minus 10 the neuron will fire right so we also add one constant to this z and this is the bias term right so this is how the biological uh, neuron is being used to model a artificial neuron and let us see how we can draw the artificial neuron right so artificial neuron is again uh, going to be a structure like this it will have some inputs x1 x2 x3 x4 in this node you are going to compute a sum which is wi xi and after that you are going to pass it through some activation function g and this value is let's say z right and this is your output right so this is your activation coming out from this node and this is equal to g of z right so this is how you depict a artificial neuron right so where w is a weight weights which we are going to learn using some algorithm like gradient descent right and this single unit is also very similar to logistic regression if your activation function is a sigmoid function right if if your g is a sigmoid function then this becomes nothing but a logistic regression unit which we have already learned right in the course and so what are the resemblances between a biological neuron and a artificial neuron right so in in biological neuron you have dendrites right in artificial ne neuron you have input inputs right so those are called inputs like you have seen in this figure right? and you have synaptic gap and in artificial neuron you have weights right which basically modify your inputs right and you have a axon and you have a output connection right and you also have uh, one more thing soma right so soma is like your activation right in artificial neuron this is your activation right? so this is uh, how we uh, try to mimic a biological neuron in a computer program right so we would be using collection of these neurons to build a neural architecture and we will study how to uh, propagate data through it okay so that's all guys for this video and i hope you like this video thanks for watching see you guys in the next part